everybody, this is Frank at Frank's Friendly Cars. We're looking at my uh, SW20 Toyota MR2 with uh, the 2GR swap. And uh, what we're going to look at today is some of the frequently asked questions about the engine banks and the vacuum hose routing on this engine. Okay, so... Um, the first question that comes up a lot is which is the right hand bank and which is the left hand bank. Well the way you determine these is by looking at the engine from the transmission side. This is the rear of the engine and from this position the left hand bank is on the left. All right, So um, that determines which one is left and which one is right. That is facing from the transmission side or rear of the engine. The other question that comes up is which one is bank one and which one is bank two okay so as you know on a v6 the cylinders are staggered on the crankshaft so cylinder one is the cylinder that is closest to the timing chain timing chain or front of the engine is back over there okay so then cylinder one being closest to the timing chain then bank uh, one is the one that has cylinder one and even though you can't really see it from this position maybe you'll see it a little bit better if I come over here all right so cylinder one is actually down here under the plenum and you can sort of see where its um, coil is and it is closer to the timing belt than uh, this cylinder on this bank. So therefore, this is uh, bank one and that is bank two. All right, so now we're gonna look at the vacuum hoses and how they should be routed onto the intake and manifold. So first let's start with the PCV. And uh, with my PCV hose, I've done something a little bit different, which is I put an oil catch can right here, right? So this is just in line of the PCV. The PCV line goes from the PCV hose, I mean from the PCV valve right here, positive crankcase ventilation valve is positioned right here. And it should go straight to this nipple on the intake and this applies value vacuum to the PCV to suck out any crankcase crankcase gases and I've put a catch can in line to capture any oil fumes or droplets that might be present in the crankcase and prevent them from going back into the intake all right so that's what's going on here the second thing to look at is the evap purge valve and uh, with the uh, MR2 we sort of do a little adaptation of the evap system I have the stock evap canister right here okay and it's capturing fumes from the gas tank now I have this little hose that comes off the top of the evap canister and it goes to this evap DSV vacuum switching valve which is plugged into the harness and it's controlled by the ECU and then the hose from the valve goes to the throttle body or intake right here all right and um, so what happens here is the ECU opens the valve and then the engine vacuum sucks out any gasoline fuel fumes that have condensed in this carbon canister, right? So that prevents vapors from wafting all around when the car is parked. All right, so what else have we got going on here? Um, we also have the brake booster line. That's another important vacuum line. And it inserts on the back of the plenum the plenums have two different designs and there may be like some newer designs too but there's a I believe this is this one is the older design and it has two nipples on the plenum of which one of them I have capped because it's not needed and the other one just goes 
all the way around and through the car all the way to the brake booster in the front and it provides the vacuum assist for the braking. We got one more thing here which is the breather hose. Okay, so the function of the breather hose is it comes off uh, the uh, right hand bank and it passes underneath the plenum and it comes to the intake. So what the breather hose does is when vacuum is applied to the PCV valve then we need to replace the air in the crankcase that is being sucked out through the PCV. So clean fresh air is sucked out to the right hand bank and it fills the crankcase and circulates and then it gets sucked back out through the PCV. And it's important to note that this is metered air. This air is metered. That means that the MAF, mass airflow sensor is positioned in front of this uh, breather hose. And the reason for this is that the air that is sucked through here ends up eventually in the intake therefore it must be accounted for for fueling okay there's one more um, nipple on the intake which um, is not used in this configuration of the engine all right so it's capped this nipple I believe it goes to the secondary VSV that would be on the stock intake normally but we do not I mean the intake box right and we do not have this on this engine on in this swap so this is capped to prevent any air from going in so the way it's set up it's all buttoned up the uh, Air flows are properly metered and there are no leaks or points of ingress or egress for metered or unmetered air. Okay, and this is just to clarify for those who may have questions about this, because this can lead to issues with uh, the running of the engine. if there are any vacuum leaks and air is not being metered properly so thanks for watching hope this helps and uh, come back and check us again soon